हेलो एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय ऑनलाइन क्लासेस दिस इज ओम मैथ्स कॉर्नर टुडे वी शैल डिस्कस लिमिट्स एंड डेरिवेटिव्स फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास इलेवन सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स दिट्स सो लेट अस प्रोसीड नाउ एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट टू लिमिट्स एंड डेरिवेटिव for the students of class 11 subject mathematics today our topic is derivatives in this video we are going to learn what is derivative what is the need of the derivative and uh, from the definition towards the questions of the exercise exercise 13.2 okay so let us start now first of all we shall learn about derivatives what is uh, given in the ncert textbook the very starting of the derivatives from the textbook of ncert by knowing the position of a body at various time intervals it is possible to find the rate at which the position of the body is changing it is of very general interest to know a certain parameter at various instants of time and try to finding the rate at which it is changing there are several real life situations where such a process needs to be carried out for instance people maintaining a reservoir need to know when will a reservoir overflow knowing the depth of the water at several instances of time rocket scientists need to compute the precise velocity with which the satellite needs to be shot out from the rocket knowing the height of of the rocket at various times financial institutions need to predict the changes in the value of a particular stock knowing its present value in these and many such cases it is desirable to know how a particular parameter is changing with respect to some other parameter the heart of the matter is derivative of a function at a given point in its domain of definition so this is given in the ncert textbook now we shall learn what is the definition in the textbook definition 1 suppose f is a real valued function and a is a point in its domain of definition the derivative of f at a is defined by limit h approaches to 0 f of a plus h minus f of a whole divide h provided this limit exists derivative of f of x at a is denoted by f dash a observe that f dash a quantifies the change in f of x at a with respect to x similarly we have second definition suppose f is a real valued function the function defined by limit h approaches to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divide h wherever the limit exists is defined to be the derivative of f at x and is denoted by f dash x this definition of derivative is also called the first principle of derivative thus f dash x is equal to limit h approaches to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divide h right so before proceeding towards the exercise what is first principle what is the first principle of derivative that is derivative of the function 
with respect to x f dash x is equal to limit h approaches to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x whole divide h so this is the first principle of derivative that is by definition we also name this by definition method now we shall move towards the questions of the exercise exercise 13.2 the very first question is find the derivative of x square minus 2 at x is equal to 10. So first of all f of x is equal to x square minus 2. So differentiating with respect to x we write here f dash x is equal to x square derivative is 2x and the derivative of constant is 0 because the rule we have derivative of x raised to power n is equal to n into x power n minus 1 right so derivative of x raised to power 2 is 2 in place of n we have 2 x raised to power 2 minus 1 so this becomes 2x right so this was the first thing second is derivative of any constant is always equal to 0 right so derivative of minus 2 minus 2 is constant this is 0 ok that's why what is the derivative of f of x x square minus 2 this is 2x minus 0 that is f dash x is equal to 2x now what is our question at x is equal to 10 so we write f dash in place of x we put 10 so this becomes 2 into 10 which is equal to 20 so 20 is the answer of the given question now next question question number 2 find the derivative of x at x is equal to 1 so first of all we know what is the derivative of x raised to power n this is n into x power n minus 1. So, what is derivative of x raised to power 1? This is 1 into x raised to power 1 minus 1. This is 1 into x raised to power 0. That is equal to 1. So, what we write here? If f of x is equal to x, then f dash x is equal to 1 right now at x is equal to 1 now f dash at x is equal to 1 there is no x if there is x we shall replace x by 1 so answer remains 1 so this is the answer of the given question now next question question is question number 3 find the derivative of 99x at x is equal to 100 so once again what is the rule derivative of x raised to power n is equal to n into x raised to power n minus 1 so we have also seen that derivative of k is any constant x raised to power n we can write this as k into derivative of x raised to power uh, deriv derivative of x raised to power n right uh, here so this way the f of x is 99x so f dash x first of all we write 99 as it is only x is remaining and what is the derivative of x this is 1 so what is this 
99 now at x equal to 100 f dash 100 because there is no x so only 99 remains the answer okay so next is now question number four find the derivative of the following functions from the first principle what is the function first part is x raised to power 3 minus 27 so we write here f of x is equal to x raised to power 3 minus 27 now what is the first principle of derivative by first principle of derivative f dash x is equal to limit h approaches to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divide h so this is the first principle of derivative the very formula right so here what we do f dash x is equal to limit h approaches to 0 f of x plus h so we write here x plus h raised to power 3 minus 27 this is f of x plus h minus f of x that is this full term x raised to power 3 minus 27 whole divide right so we proceed now how we proceed this is equal to limit h approaches to 0 first bracket a plus b whole raised to power 3 we write this as a power 3 plus 3 a square b plus b is h plus 3 a into b power 2 x into h power 2 plus b power 3 h raised to power 3 okay so this way we have expanded this bracket now minus 27 next second bracket opening this bracket this becomes minus x raised to power 3 minus and minus this becomes plus 27 and whole divide this is given equal to h right now in the next step what we see x raised to power 3 is positive x raised to power 3 is negative minus 27 plus 27 cancelled so what we write now we write this limit h approaches to 0 now we also take h common so h is taken common what we are left with 3x square plus 3x h plus h square because one h is taken outside in the denominator this is h right so next step this h in the numerator this h in the denominator is cancelled remaining terms we have 3 into x square plus 3x into in place of h we substitute 0 plus h square mean 0 square so what is the final answer 3x square so what is the derivative of the function this is 3x square using first principle of a derivative now second part again by first principle we have to find the derivative second part question is f of x is equal to x minus 1 into x minus 2 right so what we can do here we can write this uh, uh, f dash x is equal to this uh, rule first principle of derivative rule we follow okay first of all we write limit h approaches to 0 we write here f of x plus h that is in first bracket we write 
x plus h next is minus 1 second bracket x plus h minus 2 right so one more thing we could do here what is that we could multiply this this becomes x square minus 3x plus 2 so accordingly we have to change this will make the question easy so what we do now we replace x by x plus h this becomes x plus h whole square minus 3 into x plus h plus 2 so this was the first bracket f of x plus h next is minus f of x minus uh, what is the second bracket second bracket that remains same x square minus 3x plus 2 so this is the second bracket and divide whole divide h right now next we do what we do limit x approaches to 0 we open this bracket by solving x square plus 2x into h plus h square next is minus 3x next is minus 3h plus 2 in the second bracket we open the bracket this becomes minus x square plus 3x minus 2 in the denominator this is h right so further what we see x square is positive x square is negative cancelled 2 is plus 2 is minus cancelled minus 3x plus 3x cancelled so what are the terms we are left with here i am writing those terms limit h approaches to 0 again i take here h common ok so what is the remaining part 2x h is already taken outside plus h square only h I am writing because h is taken outside minus 3 is there right in the denominator this is h again what we do h in the numerator h in the denominator is cancelled so in the remaining part we put h is equal to 0 so what is the remaining part 2x plus 0 minus 3 so that is the answer becomes 2x minus 3 so this is the answer to the question derivative of this function is 2x minus 3 now next part what is the question third part f of x is equal to 1 upon x square so by first principle what we say we write here f dash x is equal to limit h approaches to 0 f of x plus h that is 1 upon x plus h its whole square minus f of x that is 1 upon x square divide h by first principle ok so this becomes limit h approaches to 0 hmm. we can take this as a 1 upon x square plus 2x into h plus h square right minus 1 upon x square whole divide h right so again we write limit h approaches to 0 this will be multiplied here x square minus minus x square minus 2x h minus h square and rest this LCM goes in the big product h into x square plus 2x h plus h square into x square this right now what happens x square positive x square negative cancelled right so next we write this as limit h approaches to 0 
here h is taken outside this is common so minus 2x h is already taken outside minus h square this becomes h only 1h in the denominator h into x square plus 2xh plus h square into x square now this is clear that h is cancelled so in the remaining part what we do we just put h equal to 0 so this becomes minus 2x minus 0 divide in the denominator this is x square plus 0 plus 0 into x square so what happens finally we reach here minus 2x divide x square into x square becomes x raised to power 4 which is again equal to minus 2 upon x raised to power 3 so what was the question find the derivative of f of x equal to 1 upon x square and result f dash x is equal to minus 2 upon x raised to power 3 by first principle rule right now next part part number 4 the question is find the derivative of the following functions from first principle f of x is equal to x plus 1 upon x minus 1 so by first principle by first principle we have f dash x is equal to limit h approaches to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divide h so here this becomes limit h approaches to 0 f of x plus h that mean we can write this here starting from here f dash x is equal to limit h approaches to 0 f of x plus h so we write it as x plus h next is plus 1 divide x plus h minus 1 minus f of x minus f of x this whole x plus 1 divide x minus 1 and divide this is h right now what is further what we do this is equal to limit h approaches to 0 we take the lcm how we take the lcm we multiply this and this x is multiplied first of all so this becomes x square plus x into h plus x next is minus 1 is multiplied so this becomes minus x minus h minus 1 so this was the first bracket next is minus sign now x plus 1 will be multiplied with here so this becomes with x we multiply this x square plus x into h minus x next we multiply with 1 so this becomes x plus h minus 1 in the denominator the product of these two factors that is h is already here h into x plus h minus 1 into x minus 1 okay now next we have what we can cancel first of all this is plus x this is minus x here also this is plus x this is minus x cancelled so what are the remaining terms moreover what we can see this is plus x square this is minus x square this is plus xh this is minus xh because of this minus sign okay this is minus h this is also minus h so we write limit h approaches to 0 minus h and minus h becomes minus 2h minus 1 this is plus 1 this is also cancelled and denominator we have h into this whole term what is this whole x plus h minus 1 into x minus 1 
right now in the next step this h is cancelled okay thereafter we put h is equal to 0 in the remaining terms so this becomes only minus 2 is left in the denominator we have x plus 0 minus 1 into x minus 1 so what we write minus 2 divide x minus 1 again x minus 1 that is this becomes square so what is the answer question is f of x is equal to x plus 1 upon x minus 1 its derivative by first principle that is f dash x is equal to minus 2 upon x minus 1 whole square so this was our question number 4 so in this video this is the first part of the exercise 13.2 okay uh, up to question number 4 we have discussed all the questions the remaining questions they will be solved in the next part part 2 of exercise 13.2 thank you for watching thank you once again